Hello students, today I am discussing a new topic, the Living World Class 11 Biology Chapter 1, NCRT Exercise Solution, which will really helpful for your board examination. So please watch till the end of the video. Welcome back once again in your biology class. This is Nausin and you are watching Educational Support. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and you have turned on notification on your phone so that whenever I release a video, you will see it on your home page. So let's get started. So the first question is, why are living organisms classified? The earth contains millions of organisms you know. And we may know that plants and animals that live near us by their native names. So these local names vary from place to place within a country. This leads to confusion in identifying and studying specific species. So therefore, it must be called by common name throughout the world to standardize the nomenclature and study of organisms. To achieve this, Organisms are named and categorized according to their roles. Next question is, why are the classification systems changing every now and then? You know that scientific studies every are work in progress and new species and organisms are often added. So the initial system of classification focuses only on habit and habitat of organisms. Gradually, external morphology become a tool for classification. So after this, the morphology and the embryology are taken into account and followed by the phylogenetic relationship, the cytology of the organism. So modern days uses biochemical techniques to classify the organisms which is based on their nucleic acid components. Number three question is, what difference criteria would you choose to classify people that you met often? The people we met most often are categorized by class characteristics such as gender, skin color, education, career, hobbies, nature, relatives, friends, etc. Number four question is, what do we learn from the identification of individuals and populations? The knowledge of characteristics of an individual or its whole population helps in identification of similarities and dissimilarities among the individuals of the same kind or between different types of organisms because it helps us to clarify or the classify the organisms in various categories which is depending upon these similarities and the dissimilarities also. Number five question is given below is the scientific name of mango. Identify the correctly written name. The answer is Mang Mangifera indica. Here, Mangifera is its genus name and indica is its species name, which is always written in lower case. Number six question is, define a taxon. Give some examples of taxa at different hierarchical levels. A taxonomic unit in the biological system of classification of organism is called taxon. In plural, it is taxa. So, for example, a phylum, order, family, genus or species represents taxon. It represents a rank. For example, all the insects form a taxon. Taxon of class category for birds is abyss and taxon of phylum category for birds is caudata. The degree of relationship and the degree of similarities varies with the rank of the taxon. 
Individuals of a higher rank, say order or family, are less closely related than those of a lower rank, such as genus and species. So thank you students. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell and turn on notification so that whenever I release a video, there is a chance that you will see it on your homepage. So Tata, bye bye. See you in the next video.